It's time for the Sports Report with your host, Mike Prince. For scores, updates, and highlights, Walla County area, the Sports Report is your one-stop spot. And now let us join in today's program. Hello and welcome to the Sunday edition of the Sports Report. I'm your host, Mike Prince. As you know, each and every week, we try to break down the going-ons in the sporting world of Waller County, Texas, bringing you service for the Hempstead Bobcats, the Waller Bulldogs, the Royal Falcons, and the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. Well, getting to the high school ranks first, we'll go ahead and, as I say, nip it all in the bud. It has been a rough week for the Waller Bulldogs. The Bulldogs came in this week with a great opportunity to kind of separate themselves from the pack, but they lost two big games, uh, Tuesday and Saturday. Friday's game was canceled due to the freezing weather. However, they reconvened on Saturday morning, and they battled against the Magnolia Bulldogs. Before we get into that, we'll go into the game that was played on Tuesday at the Dog Pound in Walla, Texas. The Bulldogs fell short to the Rudder Rangers by the score of 70 to 61. Leading score for the Bulldogs was Tadarius Harris. He had a total of 21 points. He was followed by David Matoya with 13 points. However, where the Bulldogs struggled, they were 6 of 27 from the three-point line and only 9 of 12 from the charity stripe. That right there is always a challenge. We'll discuss that and combine these momentarily. But as we stated, they lost on Tuesday to the Rudder Rangers by the score of 70 to 61. And then you heard uh, the broadcast coverage of the Magnolia Bulldogs and the Wallen Bulldogs getting together in the dog pound in Magnolia, Texas. The Bulldogs fell short in that contest by the score of 56 to 49. And once again, uh, the Bulldogs were four of nine from the free throw line and four of 17 from three-point range. Leading score for the Bulldogs was Chorus Thibodeau. Chorus Thibodeau had a total of 16 points. William Wagner had six. You had Eric Wright with eight. And Tadarius Harris and Charlie Hill both with seven points. Now, the Waller Bulldogs, as I stated, were four of 17 from the three-point range. They were six of 27 from the three-point range. And the week prior to that, they were 0 of 19 from three-point range against the Brenham Cubs. Now, there seems to be a pattern building, and the bell must be sounding right now for the Bulldogs. They have got to start driving that ball within the paint to make those old-fashioned three-pointers. I understand that it's good to show skill and everything like that, but sometimes you just got to take it right into the belly of the beast and deal with with the hard, old-fashioned fouls. Hopefully, these guys will get it to rebound back together. Meanwhile, their district record has fallen to 7-5 and five as they are now in a log jam uh, with Magnolia, with Brenham, and I believe it is with the uh, Montgomery Bears. So these guys are all locked up in a log jam, as we stated, as the Bulldogs will try to still secure yet another opportunity of playoff bursts. So that was our coverage for the high school area. We're going to take us a quick break and we'll be right back with more college coverage with the Prairie View Adam University Panthers. This is Mike Prince. You are listening to the Sunday edition of the Sports Report. Keep it locked where you got it and we'll be right back. Hey, fellas, this is Mike Prince, and I'd like to let you know that every now and then I find myself in a difficult situation with my wife. And yes, we've been married for a long time, but every now and then I do make a little boo-boo. And when I make a boo-boo, I like to make up with my baby by going to Body by India's World, all natural handcrafted luxury body care products located in St. Louis, Missouri. They're specializing in all natural body care products for the discerning customer that demands superior quality at the fairest price. Now you can get in contact with Body by India's World by simply dialing 314-458-3537. Or you can visit their website. That's www.bodybyindiasworld.sdetsy.com. 
All right, welcome back to the Sports Report. I'm your host, Mike Prince. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. We look forward to bringing you the Sports Report each and every day, Monday through Sunday. We do bring you little clips of what's going on in the world of sports, Monday through Saturday. And we have a full blown out weekend edition on Sunday. So be sure to tell somebody about what's going on here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And once again, you can follow us on Twitter at OMBN underscore radio now let us go into this week in ladies basketball in the southwestern athletic conference the lady panthers had just completed a trip to jackson state and to grambling they played a double overtime game and lost to the jackson state tigers by the score of 82 to 83 followed that up with a trip to grambling State Tigers on Monday, and they were victorious on that one, 72 to 61. Then, just on last night, the Prairie View Lady Panthers were able to take care of the Arkansas Pine Bluff Lady Golden Lions by the score of 75 to 62. The Panthers led pretty much the entire contest. They were led by an outstanding performance by Miss Jeanette Jackson and who I see as a rising star, Miss Shamaya Brooks. So the Lady Panthers were able to take care of some things. We were able to catch up with Miss Jeanette Jackson and Shamaya Brooks for some post-game reports on how they felt about their performance and the team performance overall. All right, this is Mike Prince, and I have with me Miss Jeanette Jackson. And you know I can't help but say Miss Jackson if you're nasty, right? Yes. So how are you doing this evening? I'm doing well. How you doing? All right, real good. Look, I had another strong performance tonight, uh, 21 points. Um, but I'm looking at this total minutes played, 40 minutes. Man, I guess you be waiting on halftime to get here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I really like the long medias we had. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as we were getting ready to uh, look at everything, you guys are trying to get into your groove on everything, and now you're trying to uh, come together and how things seem like they're working on the court for you. As a team, I feel like we get an understanding and more of a chemistry of what we want on a, te- on a court as one. And personally, uh, I'm just more into getting my team involved, really. So I started off with like a lot of assists, and I just take my shots when I need them or when coach tells me it's my time, you know. Very good. Now, speaking of uh, teammates stepping up, Shamaya Brooks had, to me, a, a come-out performance today. Three big blocks. She played 23 minutes and got 10 points. How do you evaluate her, her assessment on tonight? Shamaya has been stepping up a lot lately. She's having a lot of. She's having a good season this year. I think this is her breakout season, and it's, it's going to be way more to come from her. All right. All right. Now, look, you guys are, are got them right where you want them right now. People always look at the non-conference record and think they can measure things up. But as you look at it right now, you you're right where you want to be. You're three and three in SWAC. Uh, a heartbreaker against Jackson State, um, and, and I, I heard you think that you might have been slighted a little bit on that. But you get a chance to play them back here, and you got to make it count when it comes in. You got anything? Anybody you want to give a shout out to that that be listening out here in Radio Land? Uh, I like to give a shout out to my brother, my big brother from California, her name Tyrone, uh, my sister Stephanie, and my mom Riri. All right. Well, this is Miss Jeanette Jackson with the Lady Panthers. Panthers are victorious with a 75-62 win. Miss Jeanette Jackson led all scores with 21 points. This is becoming a good habit to have. Thanks a lot for your time, and go back and enjoy your postgame meal. Thank you. All right. Miss Jeanette Jackson with the Lady Panthers. All right, this is Mike Prince with the Open Mic Broadcast Network, and I have with me Ms. Shamaya Brooks. She was key factor in the Panthers getting their win over the Arkansas Pine Bluff Lady Golden Lions by the score of 75 to 62. First of all, congratulations on a good performance today. Thank you. All right, now look, seems like everything is coming to your own. You had a total of 10 points. You played 23 minutes, but now all of a sudden you're becoming to show that defensive prowess, which I've always seen in you, but it's almost like the sleeping giant is now awakened. How do you respond to that? Um, I just try to go for the block and go for the rebound, and I just really want to focus on not fouling out today and get, like, clean blocks because I've been fouling out, but I wanted to, you know, that was, that was my main focus coming into today's game was to not foul out. That's what I had to tell myself. So I try to make sure all my blocks were clean blocks. Got to clean up around the basket on the board. Now, you are in your second year in SWAC play. What's been the biggest adjustment or the turnaround that you've had to make adjustment on and to plan in this particular uh, league or conference? I had to make a lot of adjustments. I had to, you know, 
had to tell myself that I belong here because I'm here for a reason. So I'm not here to sit on the bench and ride the bench. I can come in and help the team, whether it's five minutes, 35 minutes. It doesn't matter. I can come in, I can contribute, and my teammates telling me that they need me and they believe in me, so I got to believe in me and come out and show swag what I got to offer. All right, so what is that you have to offer to the swag? I can do whatever I got to do to make sure my team get a four-peak this year. Okay, very good. Now, what is your major, that, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a psychology major. Oh, so you need to use your psych advantages and everything and get in the head of your opponents. I'm um, talking with Shamaya Brooks, an outstanding performance in my book. Uh, like I said, 23 solid minutes. You were four or five from the free throw line, three or six from the field goal, and you had three big block shots and a steal. So you had the total package going on today, huh? Yes, sir. I tried to. Thank All you. All right. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. And this was Mr. Shemaya Brooks with the Lady Panthers. This is Mike Prince with the Open Mike Broadcast Network, and we'll see you on the other side. And once again, we'd like to say thank you to Ms. Jeanette Jackson and Ms. Shamaya Brooks for their outstanding performance and allowing themselves for post-game interview to the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Sports Report. Keep it locked where you got it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with our closing segment and thoughts for this Sunday edition of the Sports Report. This broadcast has been made possible by the support of the Prairie View Athletic Club. The Prairie View Athletic Club is a proud supporter of Prairie View a University Athletics. For more information on becoming a member of the Prairie View Athletic Club, send your email to pvathletic.club at gmail.com. That email address again is pvathletic.club at gmail.com. Prairie View Athletic Club, a proud supporter of Prairie View a University Athletics. All right, and welcome to our final segment of this Sunday edition of the Sports Report. Mike Prince here with you. As always, time seems to fly when we're having fun. But before we part you for today's broadcast, I want to remind you of the upcoming broadcast that will be coming up for Waller County and surrounding areas here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. On Monday, January 27th, the Panthers will be hosting the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. The women's basketball contest will start at 5.30 with the tip-off time, followed approximately at 7.30 p.m. for the men. We'll be there to give you live update interviews and flashes as the Panthers will defend home court advantage against the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. also want to remind you that we will be broadcasting on the 28th of January, which is Tuesday, Waller, and Huntsville round two at the dog pound. That tip off time is scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Want to remind you that we will have on the Monday morning edition of the Sports Report interviews with Coach Byron Rim the second and interim head coach for the Lady Panthers, Miss Dawn Brown. This is Mike Prince with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Want to say thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for making the Open Mic Broadcast Network one of the fastest growing networks throughout the nation. As always, we say God bless and we'll see you on the other side. The Sports Report is a production of the Open Mic Broadcast Network located in Purdue, Texas. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is the official voice of Waller County Athletics.